I mean, that was one of the most brilliantly weird experiences I've ever had. Being a part of the show since the beginning of rehearsals to now watching it on the biggest night that the show's had, they were exceptional. I was, from the minute it started, from the minute that curtain went up, I was beaming to the point that I was going to get emotional. But I thought I've got a responsibility to keep it in tonight. They were, it's such an incredible show and I guess having the opportunity to see it in its entirety with all the parts coming together it's a real honour because we loved it being part of it but I can categorically say that this is one of the most stunning shows that I've ever seen and I'm so proud that I'm just a little part of that. I feel really privileged because it's never been done here before. It was done on Broadway a few years ago and it worked really well there. Um, so to be the first British cast is a real privilege and an honour and they're beautiful songs. But it's Kendra Neff. It's like Chicago in Cabaret, I mean, come on, it's pretty special. So it's been wonderful. Kander and Ebb, they really are, you know, the gold standard of, you know, sort of musical theatre writers. Um, it's, it's a real privilege, because boy oh boy, they knew how to write a tune. Um, so thank you, Fred, and thank you, John. We realise that the majority of us in the cast have never done a Kander and Ebb, so, and the fact that, no, I've never done one, but I've sang their songs growing up. So to be in a Kandra Neb musical, but to originate one on the West End is mind-blowing considering they've been around for so long. So I feel very honoured, very honoured indeed. It's just yeah. a dream come true. Like, you to grow up with them yeah. and you, you grow up with everything that they they have influenced and you to then be performing songs as well that people don't really know. So you might be their introduction to them, which is so exciting and, and, and honoured. Yeah, originating it here in the West End. I have several favourite moments. A couple of them I can't tell you because they're spoilers, but there's certainly moments where I accuse people of uh, being murderers, uh, which are great. Some nights you get a real, ooh, I wasn't expecting that which is great fun. Anytime Sam Holmes or Rebecca Locke say a joke, I struggle not to laugh every single time. I think they are incredible and just I just find the show charming, like I said, and hilarious, hilarious. Strangely enough, and this is going to sound rather morbid, I enjoy watching the very first death scene because you don't often see that in a show. Um, and I go down and I, ju I just like listening to the audience because you know, people love, you know, Agatha Christie, Poirot, they love this murder mystery. So I love listening to the audience. But yeah, poor old Nia, who plays a brilliant Jessica Cranshaw, I just find it fascinating. I just love her dropping and going, bye love, you know. Dreadful, isn't it? I enjoy singing my big number and I get carried around on a ladder by young men, by beautiful young men. I mean, it's really hard for me. <laughs> I have so many moments in the predominantly where we're making people laugh, so that's why there's so many. But a personal favourite, I do love that way. When I've got the confidence and don't feel like I'm going to fall off the bar, um, I really enjoy that way. Yeah. I love watching that away in the wings because I don't have to dance yeah. it. They're dying on stage, but I'm like, wow. But uh, I mean, every dance number, we are so lucky to have Alistair's choreography because from number to number, it's a different challenge and it's a different style. and. He creates dances for dancers that feel good to dance, so all of those are a gift as well, aren't they? Even when you're dying. <laughs> you should come and see the show because this we're in a wonderful theatre. The Wyndham Theatre is absolutely beautiful, very intimate, and it is a full spectacle. It's a big MGM-style musical. Uh, the show is great fun, there's lots of funny jokes in it, but also because this is your only chance. We're only in London for five weeks before we head out back on tour till April, so, you know, it's, it's definitely worth seeing.